We just moved on this job yesterday afternoon late, and it's the next day at uh, 1.30. There we go. And so you can see the hole Derek's cut out in, let's see, 1.30. He didn't get, Derek didn't get over here until probably about a little after two yesterday. We got him over here, and you can see the amount that he's done, went through right there. Uh, Chad on the 635, we still got the duels. The duels are, are currently still on the 635 right there. I've already been loading, and I'll show you all the the pile here that we've got. These are the pulp wood tops in the middle, and chipping saw over here on this side. And then these are all logs. I got to sort through them. I just started pulling poles. I got three poles pulled. But I've already been loading and that's the pile that we got. Now we're going to be hauling this stuff, a lot of this from here. We started this week on another job that we were on uh, going down from here down to uh, Westervelt, which is at Melville, Alabama. Uh, it's about 100, it's about 114 miles down there I think from right here. So we got a pretty good haul. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to continue to have trucks helping us haul this. Got a lot of questions about trucks. Uh, somebody wanna know why we didn't run our own trucks. We we do have our own trucks. But sometimes that's our trucks are not enough. We have eight trucks of our own. We're currently only running five out of the eight right now. It's what we're running. People, I get, I'm, I'm getting a lot of questions. There's some questions that I get asked I just can't answer. I get asked a lot about the acreage on jobs. And I'm just gonna kind of keep that under wraps because when I say things about acres, it, a lot depends on where you're at. Some areas have different restrictions, different states and stuff than what we do here in the southeast, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. And so not every area is the, is the same as far as different things that you have to do. And some people get, I guess the best way to say it where everybody could relate to it is some people get a little butt hurt because we can do things here in our area that you may not be able to do in other areas. We do it all by the sustainable forestry initiative like we're supposed to. It's just we have different, our trees are, are different, our land is different here. And we can grow these trees so fast. We've cut right here in this area several times over the years. And I'm gonna take y'all and show y'all a track where I started filming in 2014 when I started posting the video every day. It's right directly across the road from where we're at right now. And I'm gonna show y'all that track and show y'all what the timber looks like on it since it's been planted. around over here you can see a little bit better view we do have another logger that's on the same road that we're on right now and I'm gonna be visiting with him I got the green light to film his stuff and so y'all are gonna get to see a completely different side of uh of logging and everything a little bit different there's hardly any hardwood on this job right here which we needs we need a little bit of hardwood to kind of mix these loads up and we may get into some later. 
I've got to hold this camera right between my knees. If you're ever going to tilt it like that, that might be the thing to do. Lean it back and come up here close to me where I can rake it off and I'll get it where it don't all fall down in there where the engine is. wrap this video right quick remember the other day i said i had some uh two new tripods coming y'all are actually sitting on one right now and here's the other one these are uh these are the 190 go manthros they've got a uh, 60 dollar rebate on them right now so that's the reason why i went ahead and pulled the trigger on them and got two because uh, Manfrotto offers uh, usually at least once a year they offer real good rebates on all their stuff. This is the head on it's identical to what I'm using now. That was the reason I got it with this head right here. Just takes a quick plate to drop a camera on it. This tripod right here is about uh, it's a little over two pounds lighter than the one that I've been using for the last several years. It too is a Manfrotto, it's an 055, and <clears throat> it's perfect for in the woods because it's, it's aluminum, it's a little bit heavy, and I don't have to worry about the camera, it flipping over anything. These right here, you could use them in the woods, I really wouldn't want to put my ADD and stuff like that on, on it in the woods with the wind blowing and stuff like that. It would, it would hold it fine, but main reason I got these is because of uh, being able to travel with these so easy. So I've got three now. I've got the 055 stays in my truck for in the woods and stuff like that. And then the one y'all are on right now that's going to stay in here in my study. So I just I set up. All I got to do is throw a camera on it and go. And then this one right here is going to stay in my shop down there. Because, man, when I film here, shop, you know out in the woods or wherever i'm constantly having to go and grab a tripod and all that mess like that so this is going to simplify that and then when i get ready to travel i'm on an airplane or something i just grab this one right here that y'all are sitting on take off with it and it won't be too bad like going to how farms work farm day or or something like that i've had a bunch of stuff coming in over the last uh couple of days four or five days bunch of stuff and i've got some some tools that came in that I think some of y'all are going to be very interested in to see their, their air stuff, uh, Milton stuff is what they are. And I'll share them with y'all later. Uh, I talked to a Milwaukee guy um, the other day, end of the week last week, and I've got some more stuff coming from him. I'm not sh exactly sure what it's, what it's going to be, but um, I should have it here uh, pretty soon. Working on some more stuff with them that uh, is going to be uh, really neat. Um, got some stuff going on Rotobeck too, and also uh, Hush Varner. So uh, stay tuned on all that. This is the main part of this video that I want to share with y'all. This is another flag that I got. 
I have a, you know, almost daily. I have people say, "Hey, I want your. I need a shipping address. I want to send you something. You know, blah blah blah." A lot of times, stuff comes. A lot of times, things do not. I'm not sure what happens. People say, "Hey, I want to ship you something." I get them a shipping address, and I, I never hear from them again or anything. But <clears throat> this one right here is is really really cool. Um, this comes from, uh, his, I'm not going to say his last name. His first name is Tim. He contacted me uh, toward the end of December. Let's see what the date is on it. Uh, on New Year's Eve, he contacted me. That was the first time he contacted me. He said, I had, he, said he had something he wanted to see me. And uh, so I got him a shipping address. And when I got home yesterday, this was here, and it was shipped from um, a military address, you know, out of the country. And so, this is where it gets really, really cool. I've had some really cool stuff sent to me, and this is one of them right here. <clears throat> His name is Tim. My name is Tim, okay? So, he's, he writes a letter right here. It's dated the 5th of January. So, it took it from the 5th of January to yesterday, which was the 21st, to get to me. He says, Tim, I wanted to send you a flag that was flown for me. Talking about me. Since I've been watching your videos, you continually support the military. Hopefully, you can find space in your office or shop to display this. I know it isn't much, but I thought you would appreciate this flag certificate. I'm going to show you all here in just a second. He says, thanks again for all that you do with your videos. They're entertaining and very informative. It's good to see hardworking Americans. Thanks, Tim. So anyhow, this is the flag in this box right here. But check this out. Let me flip the screen up where I can see what y'all are seeing to make sure it focuses here. This is where it gets really cool. Read that. You can pause it. I'll read it for somebody who may not be able to um, read, you know, be able to see it very well or something. At the top it says, 9th Expeditionary Bomb Squadron. This flag was flown on board a B-1B tail number 86-0127 in support of Operation Inherent Resolve on December 27th, 2018, flown for Tim CT3 O'Brien, Bone 11. And then it's signed here, Eric Sis, Lord, Lieutenant Colonel, U.S. Air Force, Commander, 9th Expeditionary Bomb Squadron. <clears throat> they don't get no color in that, people. I'm here to tell you that that right there. I couldn't have done this video last night uh, when I when I opened this and I read Tim's letter and I saw this right here, man. I, I was so I was so choked up. And what I'm gonna do is is Jill and I are fixing to fix something up behind me right here on these doors to where. I can hang some of my flags and stuff like that. So when I'm doing a video like this, y'all will see them in the, in the background. Uh, we're working on that. I got some things uh, we're going to do. But I'm going to get this framed right here, and I'm going to hang this on the wall. Uh, so, so cool, man. So, so cool. You know, he said it wasn't much. Man, I mean, that's that's a that's a ton right there. I mean... It, it just it gets good. So I shot I shot Tim an email last night. I'm trying to flip the screen down so I don't look at it because I can't stand people who are filming themselves and they're looking off at the screen. It's just why you see a lot of creators they wear dark sunglasses so they can see their self so you don't see them looking at the screen there. So anyhow, I asked Tim for a little bit of his information uh, to where you know it wouldn't get much because I know y'all probably wanted to know. I did too. Um, he says here, he said he's, he's, oh, Siri, come on. 
He's 40 years old and he's been in the Air Force for 21 years. So that means he went in the Air Force when he was 19. Um, he's from up in the Pacific Northwest is where he's from up there. Says his dad was a uh, cable tower logger when he was a kid. And he says he, he enjoys my stuff watching it. But um, it's amazing to me, very humbling to sit here and think about sometimes some of the messages that I get. And I literally get hundreds of messages between, you know, comments, um, emails, stuff through my website. Um, Instagram, uh, Facebook, it's everything, man. Just const, you know, constant stuff, and and <clears throat> I don't share everything with y'all. I don't share everything that I get either with y'all. Some things people, when they see me, they don't want to be recognized or anything. They ask me not to, so I respect that, and I don't. But it is unbelievable the some of the things that that come my way that people that can relate themselves to me through what I present to y'all in my videos. And the some of the help things that are said that I don't even realize some of the things that I'm doing that it may be really affecting somebody else down the road in a very, very positive way. And you know, I get reached out to a lot like that with different stories and and things that are just uh, really cool. Uh, I've been strung out a good bit here uh, lately, working on a lot of different things. Uh, we got uh, 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 the the year is going to be going to going to turn into be very busy for me this year. And, you know, staying on top of, you know, my filming and making sure I keep y'all content out there to, to uh, watch and, and look at and things like that. But, uh, again, I say it all the time, I appreciate all y'all uh, who sit there and watch my stuff. I, I push my numbers way up there as far as the, the minutes filmed. Uh, I was trying to get around a 10 minute video and now I'm shooting for an 18 to you know 20 plus minute video is what I'm shooting for now to do that and you know very very uh, very cool I'm gonna I said in the video earlier I'm gonna be bringing y'all some footage from another logger it's very different than the way that we do things and uh, I think y'all will be very interested in my logging friends who watch my stuff. It'll be more kind of like the way that the, what I would call conventional loggers. And y'all will be seeing some of that upcoming here um, probably in the next week or so, I guess, something like that. But uh, really good things coming down the pipe and just I'm pressing on, I'm pressing on. So if you like my stuff, please subscribe to it. Um, Everything's right down below. These tripods are in my Amazon link. I'm trying to put, I've got about 140 some odd items in my Amazon link now. Things that I use uh, personally. And uh, things, you know, just all kinds of different things. Lots of chainsaw stuff. So if you're interested in chainsaws, files, file holders, all that stuff like that, you can find it right down below. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. I don't know how long it's been, but uh, again, Love each and every one of y'all. We'll catch y'all later. Later, Taters.